and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the main stage, we're going to make a really beautiful fish curry. We're using a fish called kingfish, which is a nice kind of meaty fish. It's got some beautiful, beautiful spices going on in here. It's actually quite easy to make. It's delicious. Let's go and do it. Okay, we're going to get straight in on this one today. Really quite simple, actually, this fish curry. What we're going to do is we're going to make a beautiful masala first. And then we're just going to drop our fish in and let it kind of cook gently in there. It's really delicious. So, pan, I've got some oil in. You can use any oil you, you like. I'm going to be using sunflower oil today. And we're going to just put in a few simple spices. Here we go. We've got black mustard seeds, cumin seeds, and some dried red chili. So let's get them in. And just for a few seconds, we're going to let them do their thing in the oil. Now, as you can see here, I've got my onions, which I've cut really, really small. And my fresh tomatoes that I've actually stuck in my food processor. Because we want this to be really nice and smooth. But it really is quite simple, this. There we go, popping them, doing its thing. Now what I'm going to do is drop in my onions. And on this kind of quite high heat, I'm going to let this go for like two minutes. And just as these onions start to change colour, we're going to drop in some chopped garlic and ginger and some curry leaves. And again, about another two minutes stirring all the time. Okay, at this stage we're now going to go in, in fact, let me just turn the heat down a little bit now. We're going to go in with our tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that I put in my food processor, like I say. To that I'm going to add some fresh green chilli. And today I'm only adding two spices, which are turmeric and chilli powder. to give us a nice good mix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this. We've got the heat down a little bit lower. I'm going to let this go for about four minutes. Okay, let's jump in and take a look here. Let some steam out there for you. Now that is looking great to me. A little bit of salt into that. Now we're going to add our fish. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put in my kingfish I'm using today. Now kingfish, I suppose it is, if you don't know kingfish, it's probably like swordfish, like swordfish steaks. I would imagine that's, yeah, that's the best I can think of to explain the kind of type of fish it is and the texture. You know, this is really good for like, you know, you can grill this or, you know, barbecue. It's really good for like, you know, just lovely steaks. So all we're going to do is get a little bit of our masala on that. Yeah, so if you can't get kingfish, swordfish or something like that, you know, it's, it's quite meaty and 
you know, it's not a flaky type of kind of fish. Okay, so I'm going to get that lid back on and we're going to let that go because of the sizes of the fish that I've got. And that depends on how you cut yours. I'm going to let that go for about another six to seven minutes. Nice low heat. Going to give it a little gentle stir every now and then. We're going to get this lid off. This is really hot. Let's steam it and that out. Now I guarantee you that that fish is perfectly cooked. I'm so happy with that. I'm going to finish this off with a nice little bit of garam masala powder and a beautiful amount of cilantro or fresh coriander. Now if you wanted you could put a little splash of coconut milk into this. I'm staying away from that today because I think this is beautiful. We're literally going to gently, because now I don't want to be breaking the fish, just kind of mix this in a little bit. But that is it. We've got a really beautiful kingfish curry on masala. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?